Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today I'm going to talk about wildcard matching using dynamic programming. So you have a pattern and you have a string, you have to tell this pattern matches the string or not. We are looking for the complete match of a string, we are not looking for a partial match. So in the pattern along with the regular characters we are going to have two special characters, a star and a question mark. Star represents zero or more sequence of characters while question mark represents any character. So let's see a few examples. So if our pattern is A star B, what that means is the string should start with A, end with B and can have zero or more characters between A and B because between A and B we have the star. So AB should be a match. If the string was AB, it should be a match with A star B. AAB is also fine because between this A and B we can have any number of characters. A, X, Y, B is also, for, also fine. So all this should return true. But if my string was B, then that should return false because our string got to start with A. A is also false because our string got to start with, end with B. A, C is, should also give false. A, B, C should also give false. Let's take another example, A question mark B. So now in this case, there should be exactly one but any character between A and B. So A, B, A, B, B, A, C, B all should be true but A, B, B, C, B all should be false. Let's take the last example, X question mark Y star Z. So in this case, there can be any one character between X and Y and then zero or more characters between Y and Z. So X, A, Y, Z is fine. X, A, Y, L, M, N, Z is also true. But X, Y, Z is not fine because you need one character between X and Y, any one character between X and Y. A, Y, Z is not fine, X, A, Z is, and is not fine, so they should all return false. So here we are going to use dynamic programming to solve this question. Next, let's see how. Let's first look at the idea behind the bottom of dynamic programming before looking at an actual example. So here T is a two-dimensional Boolean array and T, I, J is indicating that is the substring in the string from 0 till I and the substring in pattern 0 till J are they a match or not? And t of ij will take one of these three values. t of ij will be equal to t of i minus 1, j minus 1 if string of i is same as pattern of j or pattern of j is a question mark. So if string of i is same as pattern of j or if pattern of j is a question mark which means that till i and j the value, the value at i and j are already same so then we check excluding i and j is the rest of the substring a match or not? And to get that, you look at t of i minus 1, j minus 1, which is a diagonally across value in this two-dimensional matrix. Otherwise, t of i, j will be equal to t of i minus 1, j, or t of i, j minus 1, if pattern of j is a star. So in this case, t of i, j minus 1 indicates that till i th, uh, i th value in the string and till j minus 1 in the in the pattern which means that star in this case is indicating a zero sequence of character. So when we are looking at t of i j minus 1 it means that star representing zero sequence of character. So either that is true or t of i minus 1 j in this case the value at star is uh, taking uh, star includes this ith character. So if any one of them is true then this again becomes true and hopefully this will become clear when we look at the actual example. And if none of this case happens, then t of ij will be, will be false. So next, let's look at a concrete example to understand this approach. Here, my pattern is x question mark y star z and my string is x a y l m z. So we're going to fill up this two-dimensional Boolean array from left to right and we'll have our answer at this bottom right corner. So first, let's see how we're going to fill up the zeroth row and zeroth column. So first we'll see t00. What t00 is indicating is that is a null, is an empty pattern going to be same, uh, going to be matched with an empty string? And I would say yes, which is why this value is true. Then, uh, if our pattern was x and if my string was a null string or an empty string, so an empty string would not match with the pattern x, which is why this value is false. Similarly, if my pattern is x question mark and if my string is an empty string, again it won't be a match which is why this is also false. And everything on this row will be false. Only way this first value can be true is if this value was a star. 
So a star can match with a null with an empty string because star repre can represent a zero sequence of character. Let's fill up this zeroth uh, column. So if my pattern was a null string or an empty string, and if my string was x, again, they would not be a match, which is why this is false. Similarly, if my pattern was a null string, an empty string, and if my string is x here, again, they would not be a match. So this entire first zeroth uh, column will be false. Now, let's see how we're going to fill up this t11. So when I'm looking at t11, I'm seeing if x matches with x or not. So this x is same as this x, so we are in this condition 1, so we're looking for what is the value of ti minus 1, j minus 1. Since x is same as x, if we remove x from the pattern, and if we remove x from the string, we are left with two empty strings, and two empty strings are a match, which is why this value is true. So this takes its value from the diagonal, and this value also becomes true. Again, t of ij will be t of i minus 1, j minus 1, if both the characters at i and j are same. Next, let's see this value 1, 2. So my pattern is x question mark and my text is x. So here, again, we are in this condition 1 because the value at j is a question mark. So if I removed x from my string, and if I removed question mark from my uh, from my pattern, I'm left with x and null string, an empty string. And we know that x doesn't match as an empty string, which is why this value here was false. So taking, its, taking this value from the diagonal, this value also will be false. x and y are not same, so we automatically get this false. So this is false. x, since this value is a star, we're going to look at the value on the left or value on the top. And both of them are false, so this becomes false. X and Z is not same, so this value also becomes false. So next, let's fill up this second row. So again, uh, A and X is not same, so we get this uh, false value straight away, so this value becomes false. So now A and question mark. So we fall into this condition 1. So our string is, our pattern is X uh, question mark, our string is X A. So question mark can match anything, so we remove any one character, so question mark is gone from here and A is gone from here. And X and X is a match and we know that because this value is true. So this value will also become true. So basically it took its value from the diagonal, which is what we are doing here. T of I minus 1, J minus 1. Now, uh, if my here Y and A is not same, so we take this third condition, which is false. A and star. Since it's a star, we're going to look either at the left or the top. Both of them are false. So this becomes false. And finally, A and Z is not same, so this also becomes false. Next, let's look at this third row. Here, Y is not same as X, so this value becomes false. So now we come to the, uh, this question mark. So again, we look at this first condition. So if we had, uh, if we had pattern X, uh, question mark, and if our string was x, a, and y, this question mark matches with this y, so we remove them. So is rest of them match? Does this pattern matches x, a? And it does not, which is why this value here is false. So all it does is it takes that value, and this value also becomes false. Then y is same as y. So again, we have x, question mark, y, and x, a, y. So again, we're going to look at the diagonal value. So this y is same as this y, so we are left with x question mark pattern and x a as a string, and they are a match, which is why this value is true. So this value also becomes true, getting its value from the diagonal. Then, star. So if since we have star, we look at this condition. So let's look at it in a little bit detail. So here what we are saying is, since last value is a star, either y can be same as y, can, y could be represented as a star, or star could represent a zero sequence. Let's see both the conditions. If, if star is representing a zero sequence, then basically what we are saying is, our 
the remaining guys a match. So without star, our remaining guys a match. If star represents a zero sequence. And to get that, you have to look at the value on the left, which is where this uh, T of i, j minus 1 comes into the picture, the value on the left. So if that is true, or if star represents this y character, in that case, we would take out this star and take out this y and check this if x question mark y matches this x a or not. And that value is the value at the top. So, so basically till this point. And that value is value at the top. And that is not a match, that value is false. So, in this case we can take the value from the left and that value is true. So hopefully this helps you understand how t of i j minus 1 or t of i minus 1 j works. And finally, y is not same as z, so this value becomes false. So if our pattern was x question mark y star z and our string was x a y, that would not be a match, which is why this value is false. Next, let's introduce L. So L and X is not same, so this is false. L and question mark, it's a question mark, so we look at the value from the diagonal. So this value is false. Let me say that this value came from the left. L and Y is not same, so this is false. L and star. So since we are at star, let me again explain this. X star, and here X, A, Y, L. So either we could take a value from the left or we could take a value from the top. When we are taking a value from the left, in that case, we are considering star as a zero sequence of characters. And when we're considering star as a zero sequence of characters, we are left with pattern X quotient mark Y and X A Y L. And this is this pattern doesn't matches with this, this string, which is why this value is false. So that doesn't help. So in the second case, we are treating L as a part of this star sequence so we can get rid of this L and now we are comparing X question mark Y star and X A Y and seeing if that is a match or not and we know that that is a true X question mark Y star and X A Y that we found out was true so this is how this value becomes true so it got the value from the top and finally L and Z is not same so this becomes false Let's fill up this remaining two rows very quickly. So X and M is not same, so false. Uh, this question mark is there, so we look take this value diagonally, and this is false. M and Y is uh, not same, so false. Star and M, since it's a star, we either take a value from the left or top, we'll take from the top, which is true. And M and Z is not same, so this value becomes false. And finally, Z and X is not same, so this is false. Since it's a question mark, we take this diagonal value, which is false. Y and Z is not same, so this value becomes false. Z and star is, uh, Z and star is, it's a star, so we take a value from the top or left. So stop is true, so this becomes true. And finally, Z and Z is the same. If Z and Z is same, we go to this condition one and take this value from the diagonal, so this value is true. So, pattern x question mark y star z does match with the string x a y l m z so hopefully this helps you understand that how this algorithm works again the final answer is right here let's quickly talk about space and time complexity the space complexity for this algorithm is o of m cross n where m is length of the string and n is length of the pattern again we took a two-dimensional array but this could have been easily done with a one-dimensional array in that case the space complexity would be o of n where n is the length of the pattern and the time complexity is again o of m cross n because that's how we are that's that's a, that's how much time it's taking to build this two-dimensional matrix so next, let's look at the code for this algorithm. And here is is match. It takes in the string s and pattern p. First, we convert them into character array str and pattern. The block of code here, all it does is it converts multiple stars, consecutive stars together into single stars. So for example, a star star b star 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 c gets converted into a star b star c. So because they are logically same, two stars together and one star would mean exactly same thing in the pattern. 
Then we initialize our Boolean two-dimensional Boolean array whose number of rows is star dot length plus one and number of columns is right index plus one. Right index is the size of the new pattern after removing consecutive multiple stars, after converting consecutive multiple stars into single star. Then we initialize T00 as true. And as I discussed in the video, the only way T01 will be true if the first character in the pattern is star. So which is what this, uh, this block of code does. Then we go into this for loop from I1 till the T dot length and J1 to uh, T0 dot length. And it does exactly same thing as I discussed in the video. If pattern of J minus one is question mark or string of I minus one is equal to equal to pattern of J minus one, then t of ij becomes t of i minus 1 j minus 1s. Else, if pattern of j minus 1 is uh, with star, then t of ij becomes t of i minus 1 j or t of i j minus 1. Else, if none of these happens, then t of ij stays false because t is initially initialized with, initialized with all false. And then once we're done with this loop, all we do is return t of str.length and write index. So this is the bottom-up dynamic programming solution for wildcard matching. Again, here I also have the recursive solution for those who are interested in seeing how the recursive, uh, how is the, how the, what is the way to solve this question recursively. So this is all I have to talk about wildcard matching. Please like this video, share this video, comment on this video, check out my Facebook page and check out my GitHub link. The Python code is also in the description section of the video. Thanks again for watching this video.